Hello Gemini, how are you my beautiful people? Welcome, welcome. This is your general guidance for May uh, with me Julie Paul. Thank you so much for being here. This is good for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and cross-watching. It's going to be fairly short and sweet because I've not been too well and I'm mindful of my energy. So bear with me, all right, my beautiful people. Let's have a look what we have. We have the wheel, the four of cups, the nine of wands and the empress. Page of coins, ace of coins, oh, ace of cups, and justice well wow okay <laughs> all right Gemini I don't know if you watch any of the other readings for your other placements but if you do you'll have seen that the majority of the readings that I posted certainly for the water signs and the earth signs have been showing us that we're in a very challenging shifting energetic time and it's because we're in between these two eclipses plus this huge influx of high vibrational light that came in at the end of March and it's shaking things up a little bit. And some of the signs have had this these messages of it's bringing up a lot of difficulties and challenges, um, but it'll pass and it'll be OK. You're not getting that, Gemini. And I'm a Gemini moon, so I'm happy to see this. I've got to be honest. All right. So this is a very positive spread um, about this changing time for you. And of course, the more we're um, sensitive to the energies, the more we're aligned with stepping into our greater self, then the more we feel it. You are... Yes, we have the four of cups. You're looking at what do I want because I'm not hugely satisfied and life has been having its challenges indeed with that nine of wands. But look at the rest of this. This is just so, so positive. By far the best, most positive, easiest flowing reading so far. All right. Everybody else is like, bear with it. It'll change. It'll be OK. Hang on in there. And yours is like, wow, what are you doing here? Right, you are in a beautiful flow of energy. You've got the Wheel of Fortune rooted down by the Page of Coins. So we're, yes, in this karmic cycle of shift and change into your greater self. I mean, look at this end row here. This is where you're heading, Empress and Justice. I mean, just beautiful. So it's saying here, oh, and happy birthday, by the way, for you early um, Geminis at the end of May. Happy, happy birthday. Um, so this could be why, because it's your birthday season, which is the most powerful, positive time of the year for, for anybody around their birthday time. So that could be why your reading is very different from everybody else's. The wheel is saying you're in this new karmic cycle where opportunities are in abundance for you to create a new beginning. Two aces. You have the opportunity for new beginnings. It's just beautiful. And you're very clear in this cycle. They're just showing me an enormous ball rolling gently down a uh, slope. It's not a steep hill, a gentle slope and the ball rolling gently. This is saying that you are moving gently with the flow. You're not railing against it, trying to go uphill. You're just moving in this new cycle and you're open to these opportunities for greater stability, security financially and materially. So it's a lovely, beautiful energy. What is it you want to create? So this four of cups, you're looking at things and saying, meh, it's the, I call it the meh card, you know, meh. It's not disaster, but it's not where I want it to be. So you're using this ball I'm seeing rolling down the hill that you're going with that flow to be able to roll you easily and comfortably to where you want to be in this new beginning with the ace of coins. So this could be a new job, a new home. It's stable. It's secure. There's new money here as well. This is incredibly positive. You want more and it's coming. So the main key with wanting more is be clear on what you want and feel the feelings of it. 
and then align with it by saying, I am ready to receive that. Comment that below. I am ready to receive all good things or words to that effect. You are in this beautiful energy of I know I want more. I know I deserve more. And with the Wheel of Fortune, I'm ready for more. This is I'm ready. I'm stepping into this new energy and I'm creating opportunities for a new beginning and it is going to take a little bit of effort. So let's be mindful of that nine of wands. This is the battle weary soldier energy. This is the I'm shattered. I'm tired. I need a break. I'm exhausted. I need to just catch my breath a little minute. And it's saying that's OK. That's OK. Pace yourself like I'm doing with these readings. They're shorter than normal. They're a little bit later than normal. I wasn't even sure I'd have the energy to do them at all a few days ago. But here we are. But we're pacing ourselves, okay? So this nine of wands is saying, as you see here, he's sat on the step and he's got to carry on up those steps and upwards is the trajectory. I am going upwards. Uh, my life is taking off, but I can't do it all in one go. I need to pace myself. But it's also a card of perseverance. Don't give up. It's a bit of effort. Now, why is it a bit of effort? When we're creating new, and there's a lot of new here. This is major new. This is minor new, but there's two of them. And we've got justice here. This can be new contracts. This is balance. This is fairness. This is legalities all coming good. That's making me very happy here. But is it an effort? Yes, it's an effort. If this is a new job, I've got to apply for it. I've got to do the interviews. I've got to jump through hoops. I've got to do a load of forms. I've got to, you know, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to, in order to move towards that new thing. If I want my own business and I'm developing something, it's a lot of work. If I want a new home, I've got to pack up the old one. I've got to unpack the other end. I've got to get it as I want. It's a lot of work. But does that mean it's not worth it? Not at all. It's absolutely worth it. It's worth the effort. It's worth the work. You know, even something as simple as going on holiday takes a lot of planning, organizing, um, structuring, packing, unpacking. It's, it's effort, even though it's something we want. So there is effort involved, okay? So if you don't put the effort in, then you may not create this. It's saying, right, whatever it is that I'm wanting, and it's going to mean different things for different people, I am clear with what I want, that my life so far has been okay. I've got my three cups here. I'm being offered a fourth cup because I'm saying I've outgrown these three cups. I'm ready for more. I want more. So I might want a better job. I want. My, I might want a better relationship or I might want to improve the relationships that I have to make them connect better. I may want a pay rise. I may want what? Whatever it is for you, but it wants to move towards you, but it's going to take effort. They just given me an example of somebody wants a pay rise and they've wanted one for ages and it hasn't come. And this is the time that you go, right, it's going to be a bit of work because I'm not comfortable with asking for things, but I'm going to make an appointment with my boss and I'm going in there and I'm asking for a pay rise. I know in the UK at the moment, there's strikes all over the place and it's effort for people to, to do that. But sometimes we need to make that effort to get what we desire and deserve all right so making the effort to create this new beginning and then look at this this is the end of may you are aligned now with the empress energy and justice empress is just this beautiful creative abundant flowing energy that everything is opening up for you the seeds of life are sowing the seeds and they're beginning to sprout you're getting what you want and what you want is that fairness, that balance, that justice. For many of you, this can be a contract, legalities for a new home or a new job or a divorce or a financial settlement because we've got pentacles here. We've got this flow. We've got you moving towards this greater time for you. Let's find out a little bit more. I just want a little bit more for you. Tell me more for Gemini's, please. The Eight of Cups try to pop out there, which is you moving on into better times, leaving something behind you. And when we are coming into something new, then yes, we need to create space for that and opening. 
so you have the strength to make these changes. You are in this beautiful energy and you are making it work. So the strength to create this new beginning, to go with the flow, to find the strength, to make the effort, to keep persevering, to push on through. You have the Hermit, a beautiful Virgo card here of coming into your own power, your own light. What is it I want? It's all about me at the moment. This isn't selfish. This is self-directive. Where's my life going? I can't live my life for somebody else and nobody can live their life for me. The Hermit always has a lantern that is bright enough for him only. It represents your own light. You light your own way. You light your own path. You have the strength to do it. You can't do it for others, but you can get support. We've got the three of coins here. That's the teamwork card, collaboration, support, people helping you because you're clear. Yeah, here we were saying the four of cups being very clear on what you want and then stepping into it, into this new beginning from a place of I direct my life and I know where I'm going, but I'm open to support and help coming in and around me from others. Let's finish off with an angel card. Thank you so much. Ascension. Yeah, absolutely. We are in this energy of ascension, rising up. That's the tree of life. And the tree of life symbolizes it's your life. You create it. You put the branches where you want. I love the way that these in this deck, that the branches are like hands, cupping hands, holding the light for you to ascend into your greatest potential, your greatest life, your greatest self. Congratulations, Gemini. Beautiful reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Bye bye.